All right, Galaxy Note 7, and this time I'm using the iCares screen protector. All right, so the uh, IQ Shield screen protector, it was fine. I got it to stick. Reason I took it off, you can't use the S Pen. You can use the S Pen, but the stickiness, tackiness of it, it doesn't let the pen glide smoothly across the screen. I know some users don't use the Yes Pen as much or just use it every so often. I actually use it daily for work, so I really do need that pen feel when I'm writing on my screen. And these uh, wet installs or these kind of tacky uh, screen protectors, they don't let your pen glide smoothly across the screen. So this one is from iCares, so let's go ahead and test this one out. Okay, I gotta give it up to them for um, definite packaging. Comes with the uh, little squeegee right here. Gives you a little notification. This is a squeegee card. Um, packaging's definitely nice. Installation guide. A little um, little thank you card right here. Tells you about their different types of cases, tells you how to install it. Tells you how to remove dust, um, tells you about their different series. So guide stickers, dust removal stickers. Um, yeah, definitely gotta say that their packaging is done really well, looks good. Microfiber. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so the screen is clean. We have the screen protector. Okay, so this one's a little interesting because it has, um, usually there's like one tab here and another tab here, but this one has this large tab on the bottom. So I think um, we need to stick it on like this. That's why they include this rubber band. So you need to wrap it around and then make sure it's stuck to where you want to install this screen protector. So I want to say like right about there. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the underside of the screen protector. So let's get it down. Lined up. And then from here, remove the rubber band, pull, and it should line up. Okay, looks like I'm just slightly off, so I'm gonna tilt it. Yeah, so that rubber band thing doesn't work so well. I think it's easier to just line it up from the top. So let me go to the side. Line up the top holes. Yeah, that's just a lot easier. There it goes. Okay, and then you use the squeegee card to get all the bubbles out. Okay, so you see the bubbles coming off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick as I continue getting as many or as much of the bubbles out as I can. Okay, so a lot of the bubbles are out and then you're gonna push down on the edges to get it to stick. And that is a problem. So 
so let's actually peel this the top layer let's get those bubbles out peel the top layer all right so there's just a few bubbles so these I could just uh, use the use the squeegee to get out but the concern of course is the edges and while it does stick I don't know how long it will stay stuck you know what actually uh this is sticking a lot better than some of the other screen protectors. Ah, uh, okay, so there it is. So it does stick, but then it's starting to lift right away. So if you stick it on like this and then stick it in a case right away where the edge is slightly covered, I think you'll be okay. Um, if you are just using the phone with a skin, it's probably not going to be okay, but yeah, you can. So even as I'm getting some of these or the last part of the bubbles out, you can actually see that I keep pushing down and it sticks, but then it lifts right up. So if they made the screen protector with a curve built in, it actually would have worked pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's just not going to work. One thing I can say is it glides, the pen does glide. So if they just make some small modifications to this screen protector, actually curve out the edges and release it again, uh, I think this might be the best bet uh, next to tempered glass because there's no drag when I'm moving the pen across, which is my big thing with the IQ shield. I couldn't do that because as soon as I started writing, it's uh, it just stuck to the screen and it was really tacky and it didn't work well, but this is completely fluid on the screen protector. So iCares um, curve out the screen and actually make it a 3D mold. I think that's the Samsung OEM one. Re-release it and this would be the best screen protector you could get. Uh, another option would be actually to just possibly trim the edges straight up and down right here and then install it, you'll lose a little bit on the edge. But I think if you did that, it would stick because it's not having to go all the way down to the curve of the edge. So there you go. That is the iCares screen protector for the Galaxy Note 7.